Mohammed Yusef Abdelaziz, the naturalized American-turned Islamic radical who killed four Marines Thursday, was heavily armed, wore an ammo vest and was bent on waging war against America, according to authorities who spoke a day after the horrific attack at two military facilities in Chattanooga. Abdelaziz 24, a Kuwaiti-born Chattanooga resident who was killed by police during his rampage, used an AK-47 to gun down the unarmed Marines after crashing into a gate at the Navy Operations Support Center, according to Republican Michael McCall, R. Texas, the chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee, and the trouble gunman who officials believe had become increasingly radicalized in recent months, wore an ammo vest with multiple rounds of ammunition, while carrying other weapons. Some of the weapons were purchased legally and some may not have been. We will examine that, FBI Special Agent in Charge Ed Weinholtz said speaking at a news conference in Chattanooga hours after McCall gave his briefing. In addition to the small arsenal Abdelaziz brought for his maniacal spree, authorities are investigating recent travels by the apparent Islamic radical, including a trip to Jordan in 2014 and another possible jaunt to Yemen. Sources close to the investigation told Fox News authorities are trying to determine whether Abdelaziz had any contact with extremists during his seven-month stay in Jordan. Abdelaziz is believed to have traveled to the Middle East between April and November 2014. Authorities continued to search Abdelaziz's computer Friday but had not found an extensive online presence and had not uncovered evidence suggesting he was directly inspired by the Islamic State. The FBI is investigating two blog posts written on Monday to determine if Abdelaziz was behind them, including one that proclaimed that life is short and bitter, and urged readers to submit to Allah, the Wall Street Journal reported. The National Counterterrorism Center said it is still reviewing its data holdings and watch lists and have so far found no positive hits for Abdelaziz, though it emphasized the review is ongoing.